So today I'm going to bring you some awesome coverage of what happened to them, what is the best things at CES, pick out all the crap that no one really cares about, and just give you some awesome stuff to uh, take a look at and maybe eventually buy. So get ready guys. In this video guys, we're going to be covering some awesome brand new microphones that came out of CES. First thing I want to talk about, really my favorite, um, is going to have to be the blue microphones. Pretty much they came out with three new ones. Um, the first one is called the Tiki. It's not for iOS devices, but it's for computers. Simply it's a microphone attached to a little USB device um, that you can plug in. It's the first microphone to um, automatically recognize your voice. This thing is awesome, it actually uh, mutes when it doesn't hear your voice, it auto calibrates for the back noise so you don't have to worry about having a whole bunch of crap going on in the background and nobody can hear you on your Skype or anything like that. Um, also has a natural recording mode where you don't, if you don't want it to auto mute or calibrate the back noise you can do it to that. It's less than 3 inches long um, and the way it works is it has a 2 custom cancel, can, it, the way it works, it has a two custom condenser capsules with advanced DSP in there, which gives it that a technology. And also, it's just plug and play. You don't have to worry about setup. You just pop that bad boy right in there. Play it. All right. Um. Next on the agenda, they had they released the Mikey Digital, and this thing um is really probably going to be one of the most popular microphones on the on the market, especially for podcasters, people on the go. What it basically is, like you can see right here, um, it's a microphone that plugs straight into your iPhone's dock connector. Uh, has a two custom tuned capsules for stereo recording, has a line input, a USB pass through, and it rotates 230 degrees around to the back of your iPhone so you can shoot some great 1080p video on your brand new iPhone 4S and also get that amazing sound because this microphone's on the iPhone. It's not that good so you really want a, a separated microphone. Also on this device it has three gain settings so you can customize the gain you want and it com comes with a nice little soft pouch to keep it in. The very last blue microphone that was released at CES 2012, they're also releasing, they also talked about it right now at Mac, I, Mac World, iWorld, whatever they decide to call it now. Um, basically uh, it's a studio grade condenser microphone that comes with a 30 pin connector port and also a USB connecting port. So you can use it on your computer, on your Mac, on your Windows computer. Uh, also you can plug it straight into your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch and just leave it on your desk and really get that studio quality sound right into your iOS device. Um, it has full iOS um, connectivity. Also it uses the sta same studio grade condenser capsule as the Spark XLR which is phenomenal. I just love it. Also. Um, has focus control on it, providing two different sonic options. With the push of a button, it will adjust to that automatically. Also, it comes with an adjustable desk stand and a shock mount, which is something I really need to get on my Blue Yeti. Um, the shock mount really just helps minimize that sound you're making when you're just hitting stuff on the desk, things like this, when you hit it like, just hit, accidentally bump into the desk, something like that. It just makes a really loud sound that just hurts your ears. And also it has a headphone jack on there for monitoring in um, real time what you sound like on the microphone. And the very last microphone that I really thought was worthy to be in my CES videos was the iRig mic cast. And what this basically is, is um, it's a $40 little microphone that plugs into your headphone jack on your iPod, iPad, iPod Touch. You get the drift, all the iOS devices. Um, and it's an ultra compact voice recording microphone. It's omnidirectional, has a headphone jack in there also for real time monitoring, just like the blue microphones. Also, it comes with an adjustable desktop stand so you can sit your iPhone in a little stand, have the mic coming out so you don't have to hold it, interview someone, whatever you want to do. Um, and it even um, the headphone jack, one of the best things about this, case friendly. So if you have that bumper on the iPhone, sometimes headphones and things like that don't fit into it, this one will have no problem fitting into there. So you're not going to have any trouble with that. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down here. I'll leave a link down below to some more awesome videos I'm going to have. And just stay tuned for more coverage on the CES.